Hello everyone, my name is Elisaveta. Welcome to Welcome Tech channel. Today we will be talking about the Global Talent Visa. Is that possible to get uh, your Global Talent Visa yourself without any help of consultants and other people suggesting their services? So if you do not know, the Global Talent Visa is the residence permit that is given to people in different uh, fields, but mainly IT specialists. It gives you an opportunity to live and work in the UK for five years with no restrictions regarding your employment. So you can work in any company or you can be self-employed or you can found your own company as well as your family members can also go with you. And you can get your passport faster than uh, usually that UK visas usually give you an opportunity to do that after three years instead of five years. The best thing about that, this is a great opportunity for many people, uh, for many IT specialists, because this visa is given uh, based on your achievements. You do not need to have an employer in the UK and so on. You only need to show your contributions uh, to companies that you worked on and some other things too. Also, this visa did not require uh, the university degree or a good level of English knowledge. So what does the process of obtaining the Global Talent Visa look like? Generally, it consists of two stages. So the first stage is more complex and this is the most complicated part. So this is collecting your documentation. These are usually CV, personal statement, your three pieces, uh, three recommendation letters and 10 pieces of evidence. Collecting this information and applying to Technation. Technation is the endorsement uh, endorsing body. This is a governmental body that gives you uh, that is responsible for giving uh, answers on this visa, evaluating people's cases and so on. And after you get your endorsement letter, uh, the uh, official approval of this uh, Technation uh, organization, you will need to apply for Home Office. This is like the um, UK Immigrational um, Department and uh, you will need to apply your uh, immigrational application and your family members immigrational applications, pay fees, pay healthcare searches and uh, wait for your visa. Uh, usually the second stage is quite formal, it's not that complicated and you need to know some nuances, yeah, it may cause some problems but usually way easier than the first part where you need to collect all your evidences and all the documentation in the right way to satisfy the technician criteria. So can you do that by yourself without any help? So there is a technician official guide where they write about every uh, requirement that they have that they have regarding a global talent visa. Even though many people use it, many people still get rejections. There are some reasons. Uh, firstly, uh, usually um, there are some, some controversial things in this uh, technician guide because it's very long and there are some things in, that can contradict a little bit. Secondly, there are things that are not included, especially it's very important when you think about like, especially the mm, formation like of your um, final document packet because for example there's not written on technician website but you cannot use any external links for example if you're showing something on google drive or you're leaving a link to your like company website they will not look at that but it's not written and so on there are a lot of things like that so it is possible to get a global talent yourself or visa yourself of course but it will take you a lot of time to prepare your documentation i know people who have gotten their global talent visa yourself, uh, themselves and it took them at least three months to prepare it's a long time because uh, we for example for our clients we prepare the documents usually in four to five weeks the second thing there is a highly no, there is a probability of you getting a rejection for example for the first time I even know people who got their visas from third time or fourth time. Of course, uh, this is not a 100% probability that if you're working with an agency, for example, you will get your visa from the first time, uh, but still the chance is much higher uh, in this case, especially if your case is kind of unusual, not um, 
specifically uh, typical to technation, it's very important to, to evaluate your chances from the start and to understand what kind of job we will, will need to, to be done to prepare for the global talent visa. And usually um, uh, consulting agencies do that you know, very good. I think most of the difficulties that you will face when you're making um, a global talent visa application will appear on the first stage, as I explained above. And there, are, there will be some difficulties that will appear on the second stage, but generally everything that may appear in the second stage is uh, possible to solve usually even if for example there were cases of people i know who have applied for example the wrong way and they had zero healthcare searches <laughs> like healthcare searches should be like mm, i don't know a couple of uh, thousand uh pounds and there was zero and they were like okay let it be and of course it just wasn't paid and they caused some problems for the home office but they asked for additional payment so they do that home office can requ request some additional evidence and this is a great thing because you can um, actually um, correct your mistakes with that if you work with us generally after a free consultation for example a person decides working with uh, us and uh, then we are preparing a st case strategy for this person maybe uh, ask for some additional documentation that we do not have access to and from that we start building their global talent fees application as i said we do that in five four to five weeks and after that we ourselves apply to tech nation and uh, after that we apply for stage two of course uh, the agencies uh, these are not like a, a magical button like get your global talent visa of course it's not that this process um, is all about you because it's like your application and usually it requires some uh, contributions from your part like providing documentation uh, commenting on documentation that is ready but agencies are able to help you build the best strategy the best storytelling this this is very important how to present yourself as a professional and what like weaknesses of your case everyone al almost has these things like some weaknesses uh, some things that are against the global talent technician guidelines to hide them and to highlight the things that are uh, eligible for the global talent visa because there are no people who are 100 percent eligible i've seen them them like i have been working with the global talent visa for three years and i've seen like only two or three of them <laughs> who would be like perfect 100 percent uh eligible usually people have some things that are just that i needed to be worked on so if you're interested in free consultation on Global Talent Visa, if you want us to evaluate your chances and to help you understand whether this program is eligible, is good for you or not, uh, you can sign up for a free consultation. The contact information is down below. And if you have any questions, please uh, leave them uh, in the comment section. Thank you so much and have a great day. Goodbye.